A part family is a feature that you can use to create several part files from a single template part file. This is perfect for models that have the same model history but simply vary in parameter values. For example, this model is a simple ring design for pipes and is designed to come in different sizes. To prepare for a part family, it is a good idea to organize your expressions, naming those that will change for each size. Displaying the expressions for this model, all the named expressions will change for the different sizes, the number of pins, their height and diameter, as well as the ring's thickness and width. You can then create and manage a part file with the part family's command in the Tools tab Utilities group. On this dialog, the available columns are those that you can choose from, and the chosen columns are those that you will modify from one part family member to the next. If something doesn't change, there is no reason to include it. The drop-down determines what to select. The default expressions are the parameters of the model, but you can also select from a number of things such as whether to include or mirror features, change the density or attributes, or include components of the template part. For this example, I'll modify only expressions. There are already two attributes in the chosen columns list, DB part number, which is used when working in Team Center, and OS part name, which is the NX part name. I'm not working in Team Center, so to simplify this, I'll access the settings pane and deactivate importable part family template. An alert displays stating that if I import or export the spreadsheet I create for the part family, I'll need to swap the columns. If you think you will do this, it'd be easier to leave this active. I'll also set the directory where the part family is saved. Now just a part name attribute displays. I'll now add the expressions change by selecting the five named ones and clicking add at end. Next, click create spreadsheet. To do this you must have Excel 2007 or newer and the NX session is transferred to Excel. Everything in the chosen columns list in the dialog is now a column in the spreadsheet. You can now use all the functions of Excel to populate the spreadsheet. Each row is a part file and the part name must be unique. I'll enter part names and parameters for each of the expressions per the design. A menu exists in the Add-ins tab of Excel to, communic to communicate to NX. It's important that you use this menu rather than switching the display back to NX. To perform an operation, select a row. For example, I'll select this row, then select Part Family Verify Part. The control of the session is temporarily returned to NX and the model previews with the defined parameters. Notice the Part Family's dialog is grayed out with nothing available except two buttons in the Part Family Spreadsheet pane. Resume Spreadsheet will return control back to the spreadsheet while Cancel Spreadsheet will cancel the spreadsheet without saving it and give the control of the session back to NX. I'll click Resume Spreadsheet. When you are confident all the parameters will work without causing errors, you can create the part files. You can do this one at a time by selecting individual rows or all at once by selecting all the rows. I'll select all three and select Part Family Creates. An information window displays with the status of each part file being created. Notice the part files in your directory where the template is stored. After the part files are created, click Resume Spreadsheet to transfer the control back to Excel. Then save the spreadsheet by selecting Part Family, Save Family. This saves the spreadsheet and transfers the control back to NX where you will want to save the template part file as well. Once a part family has been created and saved with the template part, selecting the part family's command allows you to edit or delete the part family. In the first two panes, you can manage the columns in the spreadsheet. Just as when you first created it initially, you can select a column in the available columns list and click either Add at End or Add After Selected Column. 
In the chosen columns list, you can manage the columns using the available actions, delete, move up, move down, or cut, after which you can paste the column. Any changes you make will be automatically implemented when you edit the spreadsheet. In the Part Family Spreadsheet pane, there are now two buttons, Edit Spreadsheet and Delete Spreadsheet. I'll go ahead and edit the spreadsheet. In Excel, you can change any of the values of Part Family members. I'll change the pin height of this component. After making a change, you can select a row, display the Add-ins tab, and select Part Family Update Parts. Transfer of Control temporarily returns to NX while the Part Family member is updated and the status displays in the Information window. After it updates, click Resume Spreadsheet to return to Excel. You can add a new member by simply filling in the values and selecting the row and selecting Part Family Create Part. Again, the status displays after which you resume the spreadsheet. When you are done, be sure to save the part family and the template part. To add a part family member to an assembly, you select the Add command as normal, then select the template part to add. Once you click OK, the Choose Family Member dialog displays. The Family Attributes list contains the attributes you use to define the part family, and options below allow you to set criteria for a search. Near the bottom of the dialog is a list of matching members that match the criteria. I haven't set any criteria, so all the members display here. If you know which member you need, you can simply select it and click OK. If there are a lot of members or you don't know the one you need based on its name, select an attribute and the criteria box populates with its name and two equal characters. This is a conditional operator that searches for the expression named pin DIA that is equal to a value you define. You can do that by entering the text box and pressing enter or selecting from the valid values box below. The matching members list then updates according to the match. I'll click Clear All Criteria and select a different attribute. Other operators are available and they are ones commonly used in programming. You can find the complete list in this document. For example, I'll backspace the equals and type greater than 0.75 and press enter. This yields three matches, and the criteria displays in the first list at the top of the dialog. I'll select another setting pin num to four, and one member matches the two criteria. I'll select the member and click OK to complete the operation. The template part previews and you define its location as normal.